Hey guys, how are you doing this week? We are back again uh, for our uh, weekly thing. Just doing some cleanup around the shelf. Um, it, it needed it. Um, our, uh, after our uh, Saturday Traders Night, there was a whole lot of stuff that um, we, we needed to clean up, straighten up, stuff like that. So, um, uh, trying to get things back in order. Uh, we're still in the middle of the Christmas holidays, or the, the let's just say holidays. So, but. Yeah, so, what were we cleaning up from? Uh, from uh, that Traders Day. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I think that we had, it, it, we could have almost been designated as a small country <laughs> with as many people that was here yeah. for the Trader's Day and the Pickway Craft Mall. Yeah. Uh, we, we exceeded our uh, thoughts for the parking lot uh, due to having, you know, I think we have close to 70 spaces and people were having to park almost down the road. See if anybody's here. Hey, how yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah. you know, just that. Well, who knows? Uh, Tommy's here, I'm sure. Yeah, there's probably like two. two uh, Vince. Yeah. Vince, yeah. Vince and Kay and Stephanie. Hey, thank you. Um, so, yeah, the. Um, um, uh, oddly enough, it, w it was weird. Like, we had a bunch of people early. We did. And then it thinned down a little bit, and we're like, okay. And then next thing you know, we just filled again. Now, yeah. now, part of that was because people wanted to see, you know, buy some trade and stuff like that. Part of that may have been because Rob was flipping the bill for pizza. That is true. And uh, we and we like pizza and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it was a, it was a fun event, mm -hmm. and uh, we did have a huge we, thing. We had 35, 40 people early. Yeah. And then another 15 trickle in yeah. through, through the afternoon. The day. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, uh, I always like to like make predictions like this is what we do sales wise and yeah. stuff. So it is you know before when we were getting ready and Bobby was setting up chairs, I told him I thought we'd see fifty to seventy five people. Yeah. So it was it was a little down, you know, from the seventy five it was closer to the fifty fifty five yeah. range, um, probably. Uh, yeah. There were actually true collectors, not mm -hmm. just people that were passing through. Yeah, I mean there were several people that were just kind of came over from the craft mall. Yeah. We would like to say thanks to the Pickaway Craft Mall for for sponsoring the yeah, they holiday. Paid, they flipped the bill for all those they cookies and cups. For those and cookies, if you guys got them, they were amazing. And the cupcakes, they were... Four bucks a piece, so they better be pretty good. Cupcakes were four bucks a piece? They were like four bucks. Whoa. Yeah, those better be good cupcakes. I think I owe them $12. Yes. Over there. Yeah, Whoa. I, I ate one for sure. So, uh, anyways, uh, we so, do appreciate everybody that came out. Yeah, and we'll and probably do that again bi-monthly, which would put us February. February. And it First actually, February. this First time February. won't be Super Bowl weekend. I actually oh, looked at it. Oh, that's Super a good idea. weekend's the second weekend. Oh, that's a good idea. So it'll actually be the weekend before Super Bowl. Okay, so... In so probably before... Pro usually, yeah, yeah, usually it's Pro Bowl that yeah. weekend. So uh, we... Um, no reason for you to skip it. Yeah, yep, so. that's true. So that'll be our next one. And in less than two weeks, the Southway American Legion show. Yeah. Um, if you haven't been there, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, 20, 25 tables, um, some of the better dealers around. Uh, and um, it's the third Saturday of every month and third Saturday of every month through 2023. Okay. So, that's uh, good. Yeah. Did, um, oh, uh, this next weekend? Of course, we will be here at our location okay. in Circle. We also will have Caesars Creek running. Yep. And a friend of the shop will be with some of our merchandise at Xenia yep. over in uh, at the Green County Fairgrounds for the big card show they have over there. Uh, we we we're getting we're getting spread out all over the place. So yes. uh, uh, make sure that you're able to uh, get the things you want. Current stuff like uh, Tops Heritage Baseball. Did that just release today? Yes. And just came in. What the heck? Yeah. Who it, are we? Not, I know. It's weird. And you know what? That just released today. Formula One Racing was Friday. Bowman Chrome was Friday. AEW Upper Deck, which hardly anyone's yeah. direct with Upper mm -hmm. Deck and getting it that quick here. And Stadium Club Friday also is here. So, wow. Yep. We and have you everything. told me that Topps, Topps Formula One was here, and I was like, I was like, I was thinking something F. I was like, what? We have to have it in? Yeah. So, anyways, we we do have all the current new products in. Um, so, uh, feel free to let us know 
any pricing on anything, just let us know. Yeah. And Optic Baseball. And shipping. we do do shipping. Shipping $5. Uh, uh, as much as you want. In, yeah. Anything. So. Yeah, Optic Baseball should be here tomorrow. Yep. So we uh, told them last week we'd kind of talk about a little bit, work through um, what the impact on the hobby mm -hmm. is going to result from Christmas time, mm -hmm. or what, what the holiday season mm -hmm. is going to do to the local hobby to, mm -hmm. to uh, you know, we'll look at different categories. We'll talk about singles. We'll talk about wax. We'll talk mm -hmm. about, but, um, so we'll, we'll start there. And then we're going to talk about, um, something that I like saw happen and I'm watching happen with the price of wax that just got me thinking about supporting local and, and why, why the mom yep. and pop shops can't compete with mm -hmm. like the Walmart type, sure. type places. So we'll, we'll start with the Christmas forecast, mm -hmm. so to speak. So what, what do you think? What do you see happening if you're out there and you're a card? Let's start with singles. So you're, you're a card collector. You're not necessarily a shop. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Maybe you sell on eBay a little bit or something yeah. like that. What, what do you think is going to happen in, um, in the singles? I think that even even with us on the edge of a refresh, re, recession and stuff like that, people are not even going to think about it until after the holidays. So I see a lot of people... Uh, maxing out the credit cards mm -hmm. to get their Christmas in, you know, knowing that at some point after the first year, they're going to file their, for their taxes and get tax money back and all that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a pretty good holiday, to be honest with you. Um, um, most people, and, and then you still have like the family members that don't know what to get the person that um, is looking for, you know, like they're like, hey, my... You know my husband buys cards off of you. I need to buy something, you know. So that's something that we, we we've done for years. You know, we make yeah. sure try to make sure everybody gets what they're looking for. So, um, but with singles, yeah, this is a pretty good time to get them. Um, that that's what I would say. Yeah, I would say um, you know when it comes to singles, I don't think they take any kind of upturn. Mm -hmm. But I don't necessarily think they take a downturn because the Christmas yeah. purchases probably cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. So you probably have that person wanting a stocking stuffer of yeah. uh, Joe Burrow for a $5 card, yeah. for instance. So they probably buy that to stock yeah. a stuffing. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to stock a stuffing. To stuff a stuff, a stocking. stuffing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So they, they do that, and it probably cancels out. Now, I don't think anybody is uh, a week before Christmas – coming into your shop or going on eBay and buying a $600 card for themselves. You yeah, know? well, I mean, if you're not going to buy anything off eBay, pretty much it looks like about after the 19th of this month, yeah. unless you're going to do, like, priority express shipping, yeah. which is going to be insane. Um, you know, your, your priority is still expensive, and then uh, first class, I think the shipping date's like the 17th, so... I mean, if you haven't got your orders in, you know, we always, this time of year, get people, I've always, because of doing eBay for years, get people, uh, hey Rick, um, people coming in, or contact me right before, like, on eBay the 20th, and they're like, hey, I want this card for my kid, blah, 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 and I'm like, okay, I'm like, um, yeah, it's not going to get there. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I usually take a day to do shipping and stuff like that, but... I can't perform miracles. Now, if you want to pay the extra to have it shipped overnight express, we'll do that. But, you know, you're adding more money to, you know, especially if you're only talking a 10 to $20 card, you know, it'll cost you that just to ship it. So uh, you need to think in advance. Yeah, that is, that is a good point that basically we are in the midst of the holiday season mm -hmm. right now. For sure. Because especially if you're talking about online sales like eBay or something, mm -hmm. almost a week before Christmas, that's yeah. over. Mm -hmm. because nobody's going to risk not getting yep. their stuff. Now, for instance, we expanded our holiday hours. We've, mm -hmm. we've told everybody we're literally open every day until Christmas. We'll be here Christmas Eve. And if you need some... How class, long are you going to be here on Christmas Eve? I am not. But I'm wait, guaranteeing... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. How, how did you guarantee we're going to be open, I, but you're not here? I don't know. How Holy smokes. Exactly. I might be here. I, I might be here. Just boy, not in the he, morning. Boy, he's, but, he's quick to make sure we're here. Yeah. So, uh, no, we will be here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Christmas Eve, I mean, of course, we'll talk about that right before, but yeah. I'm sure we'll be here till at least 4 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, maybe 6. It depends yeah. on... We're, we're only we're, open to 5. We're only open to 5. Well, on Saturdays, on Saturdays and Sundays. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we will be here 
for your last minute purchases and stuff like that, especially if you let us know in advance. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is, do we have it? Is it in stock? Can we find it? Or if we need to replace it to get for somebody else. So if you, if you have something in particular you want um, or need for a gift and stuff like that, um, time is, you know, if you tell us you want something now, but you can't get it till the 20th, I have no problem with that. As long as I know you're purchasing it, you know, yeah. so. So I would say, you know, the holiday season, we're kind of summing this up. My opinion is the holiday season, as far as singles, are not going to have much of an impact as far as if you're looking at your whole collection or your whole mm -hmm. body of inventory. But I do think you see less big sales on individual cards mm -hmm. because the mom is not going to come into your shop or go mm -hmm. to your eBay store and buy a $100 card for a kid that she knows nothing about. Yeah, um, it does take some education to you know. Now to, we now we do know in this area, like um, a buddy of mine, uh, Mike, who owns uh, Father and Son Sports Cards and Pal, yeah. we have noticed. I have noticed a difference in um, Allie. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, she that, must be you know Lord. for them to for for them it seems you know it's like hey I gotta get something for the neighbor kid. Yeah, and to throw down a hundred dollars is not even a big deal. Sure. Where down here. We've always geared it, you know, a lot of times they got to get a last minute gift. It's normally 20 to $50 range. A dollar 50. A dollar 50. <laughs> no, a dollar 50 to $50 range. Yeah, um, no. you know, but it, it is what it is. You know, it's holidays and stuff like that. People yeah. want to be giving, um, you know, so they want to get value for their money too. Yep. I mean, he, even if, uh, you know, it's Christmas and you want to have a good holiday, but you also want to get value for your money. So, yeah, that's true. Um, also, I would say that... Shouldn't you be in class? Yeah, actually, she should. I she think said she should, she should be in class. Yeah, she should be. That's what I thought. Um, but anyway, uh, one of the things is we'll move to wax. Uh -huh. I think we're basically looking for the same thing. You have the mom or dad mm -hmm. or uncle come in and buy a blaster. Hey, Kevin. But you don't, you're not going to have... We're not going to have the yeah. guy come in. Well, we did just have somebody come in and yeah. buy pretty expensive hobby boxes yeah. for his grandson. Yeah. So, okay. So we might actually see an increase. We're definitely going to see well, an increase. Well, I, I think the grandparents and the moms, and I think the grandparents who not her, who aren't buying the kid something every month or every other month, like the parents, yeah. the grandparents are going to be like, what, two hundred fifty dollars yeah. for a hobby box? Yeah, you know, to that to them that's insane. Uh, you know what? To me, that's insane. Yeah, but I I know the business. You know. Um, them coming in, you know, and that's why a lot of times, I mean, I don't try to take away from Rob sales, but I also steer them towards blasters and stuff like that because it, it's, it's at the price point that is a good gift. Yeah. Not only, you know, cause you get, you get a better value in my opinion, you know? You yeah. Know, the average like, hobby shop you're walking in now is priced on blasters 25 to 40 bucks. Yeah. So same price as Walmart or Target. It's not like cheaper it, than yeah, Walmart. Yeah. My sometimes. Gosh. Sometimes cheaper. And um, so we, we definitely are absolutely seeing more traffic. Mm -hmm. So basically, I think the key is, like, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling out of your shop, if you're selling whatever, what you should have been stocked up on was gift mm -hmm. items. Yeah. And we're definitely going to see an increase in, like, Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. You know, I got back in, in there. It's just a diversified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, we saw we sold uh, several Funko Pops earlier mm -hmm. today. And, and me, me and Bobby did a big purchase of Pokemon yes. to get a bunch of the kits and absolutely. stuff like that. And, like, lines ourselves. Yes. Yeah, so. So, and, I, and I'll make a post about that. I mean, we absolutely are ready for uh, your gift giving uh, mm -hmm. needs, that sort of thing. But so Christmas is, you're going to move more gifts. If, if you don't view it as a gift, it's probably not going to affect uh, the hobby. Yeah, uh, for sure. Sales are probably not going to affect the hobby. So, um, you know, kind of covering that um, leads into, you know, buy local. You know, we always mm -hmm. want to encourage you to buy local. And um, yeah. so, so Bill's going to help me. We're going to name local shops. Uh, the people okay. we go to in this area, and and go to your local shop wherever you are. Yes. But we'll start south and work our way up. So, okay. Justin Lamblin, yep. uh, Wheeler, Wheelersburg, Ohio. Wheelersburg. It's uh, Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Yep. Field of Dreams. So a friend of the show. Yep. Uh, go to Field of Dreams. Does a good show uh, monthly mm -hmm. there, um, right next to a shop. Very good market. Yeah. Oh yeah. Business. I wish and we I, had I told that. Them that, that Man, that's, that's, that's awesome. That would have. I would have yeah. bought that building. Oh, that's absolutely. Wild. Oh, absolutely. So, you're down south, stop in and see Justin at Field of Dreams. Mm -hmm. 
Eight Bit Buddy. Eight Bit Buddy and is, Court and uh, uh, Waverly. <laughs> Waverly. Eight Bit Buddy and Waverly. They, they do sports. And we cars, apologize if we forgot anybody. Uh, video games. Yep. Uh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So they, they started carrying cards mm -hmm. about a year and a half, two mm -hmm. years ago. They have a few cards. Yeah. Uh, then you come up to uh, CNC. Ch Ch Chillicothe. Chillicothe. Yeah, CNC. CNC, CNC sports card. Kale was coming in here, you know, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Friend, friend of the shop. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll work out some deals and stuff. Mm -hmm. So Buy Kale stuff. in, in Chillicothe. Western Avenue. Yep. In uh, Western Avenue. Remo. Uh, Remo sports cards. Remo sports cards. And Tim Remington is one of the best men that I know. And he has been. No, uh, is he really one of the best men you know? He is. He's he, a good he is a man. Yeah. And I know him, no, so I guess no. no I'm kidding. No, he I is mean, he, a, a very Christian man. Hey. We've known for years. Like when we were kids, like our in our early twenties, going to a shop, we were yeah. going to Sports Card Plus, I think. Yeah, Dave Sarver owned Dave, it. Dave, and he, also, and he was part of that. Yeah. So uh, we've known him for thirty years. Uh, de definitely reliable and trustworthy yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and so underground cards. Underground, in, underground, uh, in underground. Chicago. Great card location. Zone Underground card zone is on Bridge Street. Also, not not a lot of sports cards. Mostly, mostly Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. and Pokemon. But and great, location. Magic, great location. Great location. Some uh, sports cards. Hard worker, young man, trying to yep. make his dream come true. Yeah, friends with him. Also. Yeah. So then, then come you to us. The, then you get the circle well, and we're which, which is a waste of time. Yeah, don't don't bother coming in here. No. Yeah. Uh, but but there is us, and we've been yep. at it for longer than just uh -huh. about anybody. For sure. And um, well, we've been and, we've been we've been collecting as long as a lot of the other people. I mean, uh, some, we've we've been in some business, of the people are just old. We've been in business longer than hey, quit talking about me like that. If you think about it. Yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. But Ron's about the only one. No, I knew where it was close. It was, it was close. close. Yeah. But it, it was probably close. Yeah. It was probably about the same. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of these people were still doing shows. Yeah. Doing buying and selling, uh, eBay, uh, yeah. Instagram. Yes. For, all right, and we'll get to them. And we were um, doing shows like 25 years ago. We've been, I've been yeah. setting up a flea market since I was 15. And yeah. I, and I turned, but I was, I remember I turned 50 when the I was. The Continent Show in my early 20s. Yeah, Mark, Mike Barnes was yeah. running that. Yeah. And Mike Barnes now has two shows up in uh, the Cleveland area. Yeah, he does. Okay, okay, so we don't want to anyway, anyway, Card Collector 2. Card Collector 2 in uh, City. City. Ryan, friend of... He's been in our shop, or our, our, our old shop. I know yeah. he's very, he's a very busy person. We know that, yeah. uh, but definitely we've known him for yeah. fifteen years. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, very friendly to us, and he used to buy a lot of wax off Rob. Um, when he was, so. I think when he was mostly yeah. breaking on yeah. Instagram, for sure, kind of getting started. That um, then we got, uh, shop. Okay, so then we got Midwest cards, Midwest and I'm gonna be honest, I, I've done some deals with them. Don't know them very well. Never been in their shop. Yeah, they're it's not, on the second floor. They did a bad job of mm -hmm. being. They're the exact opposite of me. They they did a really bad job of uh, being locally known. Yes, locally known, and and did a good job of being nationally known. Yes, by and, in their partnership with uh, Sports Card Investor yeah. has definitely helped them out. You know, get them on the map because. Yeah. When when Rob was buying boxes and having to go back and rebuy it, yeah. they were buying cases, oh, and yeah. their their allocations from that point were great. And then they started supplying breakers, which yeah. helped. So uh, definitely a, a play. Yeah. Uh, the rumor now I have heard this, and I don't know this for a fact because I've never been in a shop. But someone told me that they don't have anything priced like singles, oh. like literally they, you know. have to go and ask them like, hey, I want this card, and they have to look it up and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So um, that that I would change because I mean people when they come in I think you look at something and you evaluate the price on what something is if you're interested or not. Oh, yeah. Like when I go to card shows and I go through a box I'm like how much is each card and they're like well pull out one guy in particular Mark yeah uh, Mark uh, I love you buddy but I have a hard time buying off it because you're, you say pull out a stack of cards. Well, I can't pull out a stack of cards, and you're thinking they're ten dollars cards, and I'm thinking they're five dollars cards. You know, a lot of times we get deals done, but I, in my mind, have to mentally know what I'm spending. Yeah. So, moving on to just, I don't want to leave anybody out. For sure. Want to make sure. So, father and son sports. Father and I'm just kind of thinking, working my way. No, for sure. Around two seventy. Around two seventy. Yeah, um, Mike Aldrich. Yeah, Mike's great, been your friend for great 15 guy. years. Yeah, yeah, several years. Yeah, my friends. friend. Um, yeah, um, runs a very, very nice shop in town uh, next to the Eagle nice. office. Uh, uh, 
street down or a sawmill road. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and he just recently joined the Tops MVP program. Yep, by yeah, just like we so did. He, he joined it like the next day. Yep. Or so, got on board the next uh, day. Definitely a place to get your product and stuff like that. Uh, absolutely. Go in there, pay him a visit. And then we got Ron. Ron, a triple play. A triple play. West and, Hill Road. And, and Ron is, uh, is definitely the, the, the elder run. statesman. The elder statesman. Our, right. Right. Having a he's successful a shop. He's one punch me in the face. Right. Yes, he's yeah. yeah. having a successful shop, I mean, doing this for years. And honestly, I mean, I you can think different if you want, mm -hmm. but point blank I'll fact is he makes he moves more wax than any of us, because except for maybe Midwest and probably still more than Midwest. And Midwest is shipping all the way. And Ron's doing it. Well, this. It helps get it. It does help get it. And getting it was and getting it and having a good allocation to get because once your allocation product's gone, then you got to go back in the market and pay a higher price. So it's much easier to to sell stuff at. A regular price if you're at a good allocation, yeah, I know well, and then the price goes up. So. So yep. And then the and last yeah. one that's basically in our area and getting get really far for us would be yeah, New Hearts. New Hearts in Delaware. Delaware. And New Hearts is a huge buyer. Goes and sets up the national. Tons great tons of singles. Great great selection there. Great guys. And so if you live in that area, you want to check them out too. Wait, we we forgot people. It's it's really uh evolve. Sports car is on Sawmill Road. We did. I knew you. Mike were Jennings. Jennings. Mike Jennings. That who just who opened. Who was a friend of the shop? Yeah. yeah. His, his shop is just south of 270 off of uh, stuff, on the Sawmill Road. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. um, they, they do a lot of Pokemon. I mean, yeah. uh, but you bring some also. Yeah. yeah. They, do. They, they have a good allocation. Some of Pokemon stuff. Yeah. Also, Mark Northup has a lot of used to be Sports Car Plus in Grove City is now in the Wesley Flea Market. Good to have there every Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Double booth does it does very good. Wait. Has retained a lot of his regular customers uh, that want that more to move down way, in so just sort of buying selling compared to card collector too. So yeah, no, I get it. So yeah. That, that pretty much should cover yeah, that that that's pretty much show covers. That's everybody we know. So if, if you have a shop in the area the and we don't yeah, know yeah, about it, please let us know. Yeah, because yeah. because we're you know, we're we're, we're pretty open. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of business out there, it is. and it's uh, not you know, you know if I don't have something, sort of we're like you know, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. It's like Gimbal's and Macy's. You know, yeah. If I don't have it, I'm gonna send you somewhere nuts if I can. Yeah. Yeah, um, just because, I mean, yes, do I want to sell you something? Of course, that's not, I'm not here. I mean, everybody thinks I'm just here to step behind my desk and watch YouTube. Well, that's part of it, but part of it is I still have to, I still have to, I, I, still have to, I still have to pay bills and stuff like that, so I do like to sell stuff. But I definitely don't want to hold you up and, you know, be like, try to convince you you want something different. If you know exactly what you want, I, I, and you tell me, I'm going to try to lead you to somewhere you can, or if I have to purchase off eBay sometimes, I, you know, I'm doing it almost cost just because they're regular customers, I, you know, I um, Hey, it's not it's not the us just uh really just customer to customer. It's more it's more like like our trader signs. It's about friends, you know. And we and we do consider our customers friends. You know, a lot of them are on our Facebook and you know give us happy birthday mentions on Facebook or or share our page and stuff like that. And we appreciate all that. So, you don't so kind of we've got about six minutes left. Okay. And, and so, well, here's what I want to do. We name every shop that we can think of. Uh -huh. and, and just, you know, to position ourselves. We're somewhere in the middle of that pack. I mean, sometimes with wax, I was at upper... We're, in the they're, they're we're somewhere in the middle. I thought we was like, right, right, right. I thought we was right below Grove for or uh, and the Westland Flea Market because they're the only open three days. Right we're open seven for yeah, the holidays. Right. Okay, so we're somewhere. No, I would say we're in the middle of the pack. Yeah, we're somewhere in the middle of the pack. Ironically, in the state of Ohio, if you look, we're kind of like in the middle. Yeah, we are. We are south of Columbus, but there's really nobody bigger. Yeah, than us, yeah. than me. Yeah, no, I, have, no, I, have I lost, guarantee that I have lost fifty pounds, but I'm still in the five hundred. So yeah, there's nobody bigger than me selling cards. Over South six foot five. Yes, yeah, over, six, five. Five. over five hundred pounds. Yep, uh, selling cards in the center area. Yeah. So, so we will not beat that. 
That is what I was going to say. Your Basically, everybody we named and from BDD. I mean, I do. This they're shops, part, anyway. They're shops. And I understand yeah, that's 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 like huge that's personality. Yeah, for sure. Out, but if you're just talking about like a local yeah, shop, or even yeah, even Midwest, we're mom and pops. I mean, in our case, we're pop, pop, pop. We're three. Wait, I thought Bobby was the mom. Yeah, yeah. We're the pops. Yeah, we're the pops. But we're the moms. But anyway, so we're we're, but we're a it. small it's business, and yeah, this is what I'm going to say: go support your local right. business. For sure. But don't expect so them to right. compete on price on yeah, everything. Oh, it's and, and and that's and that's really the thing. It's, it's difficult for it's, some of us. You know, we we get in allocations and stuff like that. But sometimes, you know, like there for the, like two years where the ever the market was crazy and all that. You know. We were we were purposely not going to Walmart buying out bulk because we could have. I mean, everybody asked me, "Oh, what's the schedule of Walmart?" I have no idea because I'm not doing that. I'm not trying to take money out of your pocket. Now, was it tempting? Well, yeah, it was tempting, very tempting. Um, I mean, Rob makes money off wax regularly because he sells wax. I don't, but to buy a box for twenty bucks and sell for fifty, I'm in it all day. But I'm not. But I'm not going to do that. And, and the market's changed, you know. And there are plenty of stuff on the product. So you know more than I And so, yeah, and talking about the market. So I'll try to get this out really quickly. So talking about the market changing. Um, we we were in a situation where, and I've been at Paul's a lot. Of this in, in 2020, I was I was probably making 45 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just what the market would bear, and, and with the allegation which was shrinking that I was getting, and then rebuy, and boxes being three hundred and four hundred dollars, I was probably making forty five dollars a box, forty forty two forty five. I mean, that's where it was. Now before that, it was ten to fifteen dollars a box. So now we're back to that. But here's here's what I, I want to say. A guy was in here at Walmart, and he said, "Yo, I'd rather give you my money than Walmart, something like that." Well. In, in our hobby, there are big internet retailers. You, you know who they are. I'm not even going to name them. There's, you can think of three or four. More. You're always looking at yeah. you know, these guys and kind of seeing you're their always trying, You're always trying to compare them. You know, uh, like we, we know customers like would come in here literally be on their phone and be like, hey, uh, you're, 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 one, you're, one, you're 160 on that, but David Adams is 149. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, David Adams is spending... It is a, I don't know, I assume they probably sell $30 million a year. Yeah, something like that. I would assume that, you know, they have a bunch of workers they have to pay and stuff like that. Um, their markup, you know, they make their money through selling so much product that's what that they can that they can afford to do that. Yeah, and so that's what I mean. we may not be able to do that. That's you know, we if, if, if you're on a thin line of profit, you can't make it thinner, you know, by the time you take a credit card fee. Rob gives us a percentage in the shop for selling wax, you know, so it's it's one of those things. I mean, you, if you come in on wax, there's really nothing we can do. I mean, it's Rob is as cheap as he can be um, without losing money, and sometimes it's lost money, you know. And, you know, if you come in with me and you want to buy singles, of course I'm going to try to work something out with you because, you know, what the market is, you know, I want close to market, but I'm, you know, I also want you as a customer. So. Yeah. yeah, so I was just going to spit this out really quickly. Um, so I'm on, I'm on a national platform where you can buy and sell. And I, there was a product that I wanted to re, uh, replace because I had a couple customers ask me for it. And so I replaced it at exactly the cost that it, that it was originally, which a year ago, if you could have bought anything at original direct mm -hmm. cost, that was like amazing. So, okay. Oh, okay. And so I, I um, wanted to, uh, you know, rebuy that. So I, I was um, trying to uh, do that. So I did. I rebought it. I rebought it at cost. And then there was... One of these big internet retailers that we're talking about, yeah. one of them bought 48 boxes right behind me at exactly the same cost. Mm -hmm. Now, what is weird, well, it was actually two bucks cheaper, but they bought 48 of them. Yeah. And so what was weird is to see what they were okay with, because I went to their website, and watched them lower it within a day or two mm -hmm. of, of this purchase. Yeah. Watched them lower their product where they were literally making 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. 10 bucks on a box. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I paid $2 more. So for me to match them, I'd be eight bucks. Then yeah. take your credit card. 
there is no way in heck yeah. that I am going to be okay making six, five, six, seven, eight dollars for a box of cards. There's no way. Especially on a hundred dollar box of cards. On a hundred dollar box of cards, and that's about exactly where we're at. So it's just simple math, right? I'm going to sell three of those boxes this week, and I'm I'm going to make ten dollars. Yeah. Let's say. And they're going to sell 40 this week and make $10. Yeah. So for me to pay myself, for us to keep the lights on, uh, and it's the same with every mom and pop place that I mentioned, those places are not going to be able to compete in this market, in this tightening market. They're not going to be able to compete always with the big guys out there. And I noticed well, some of those companies, those companies that took away, away. used to be free shipping yeah. after so much. Yeah. They've gotten rid of some of that. So <laughs> It's a volume thing. Mm -hmm. and, sure. and even though I'm mid-range at this, with a mm -hmm. website and shows and people setting up and, and, and yeah. Caesar Street yeah. Food, I am not going to move as much product mm -hmm. to be competitive with For those sure. guys. And there's no way that some of these yeah. other guys yeah. can. So. Uh, okay, um, Eric Atkins said, there's so much, uh, so much that goes on into what you guys do. I'm going through the early growing pain starting, um, growing, starting. So much to learn, but I want to thank you for all the advice. Uh, yeah, anytime. Um, I mean, we're we're very, very honest about everything. I mean, I ain't got no reason to hide, you know, um, except for the government. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, and everybody, get excited when next year when you get your uh, when you get 10.99 from eBay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Uh, that's, that's, that's horrible. That very much hurt the. It very much hurt the market. Uh, Bill Wheeler said, "You guys." Have great prices. Uh, yeah, um, we you know, we try. I mean, yeah, it, we it is. Fair. We we want we want your business. Um, we, we have, most places don't say that. They're like, okay, well, this is my price. So we want your business. Now, can we can we bend over backwards to to get your business? On well, some things we can. A lot of times we can't. So, um, it is what it is. Um, wait, is that the silver tip? I just wanted to mention. Is yeah, that the that new Pokemon? Part of what you guys have in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the newest release Pokemon. We do have that in stock. We do have, I think we have a box of EVT or Hobby of almost every set, recent set. So uh, just keep us in the money with your Christmas uh, want list and checklist and stuff like that. So so this weekend, make sure you check out Caesar Street um, if you haven't been down sure. there. Come in the local shop. We're open every day till Christmas. Hey, if you go we got every product. If you go into Caesar's Creek, tell Nick we said hi. Yeah, absolutely. So, hey, does um, he want to dress up like Santa? His name I'm is Nick. Yeah, that's your seat, Nick. Hey, know. he should at least wear a hat. At yeah. least wear a Santa hat. You know, act like you're in the holiday spirit. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. okay well, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us. We will also, like we said, have a um, uh, a friend of the shop will be in uh, um, Zine on Saturday for the mm -hmm. big show with a bunch of inventory uh, boxes and stuff like that and their own. I and then uh, we will uh, be here, of course, 12 to, 12 it, to 5 or 12 to 6 on like Saturday. And uh, we will uh, like we will like talk to you next week. Box. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us. For what you, yeah, yep, thank you. Great.